Hey guys, welcome to Share the Knowledge. I'm DJ TL, I'm representing DJ City in Amsterdam, and today I want to talk about the warm up set. Now, when you're just starting out as a DJ and you get your first gigs, chances are you'll be playing the warm up slot. So that means you're starting, you're playing at the beginning of an event. Now, a lot of you DJs out there know when you get into a venue and the warm up DJ is playing, a lot of times they do not know what it means to play a warm up set. As a warm-up DJ, it's your job to set the mood. If you're playing at a venue and the doors just open up and people are first walking in, they generally don't just run to the dance floor to start dancing. They walk in, they get a drink, they have a talk, and a lot of them like to wait until the club fills up a little bit more before they hit the dance floor. Now, of course, I understand you're a beginning DJ and you want to impress the people and the promoter, and you feel the best way to impress is to play as many bangers and hits as you can but that's just not the way it works and a lot of other DJs won't really respect it either. You get a lot more respect if you can show that you can warm up a crowd, really set the mood the right way without playing all the hits that the headliner is already gonna play. Now, I'm not gonna give you examples because this is gonna be different for every genre and you should be able to know which tracks within your genres are considered the hits and the bangers and which track will be more suitable for the warm up. It all has to do with the energy of a track. So even if a track is not a big hit yet, if it has like too much energy, then it's probably not the right track to play when people are just walking into a venue. Now keep in mind, there's not one type of warm up set. It all depends on the crowd and the situation. So there could be two or three warm up DJs before the headliner. If you're the opening DJ, the first DJ that plays when the doors open up, there's probably not gonna be a lot of energy. You can start with a low amount of energy. If you're the DJ that plays right before the headliner, chances are that the club is already filled up. People have been listening to some warm up sounds. You need to start getting them ready for that hype part of the evening. So you can have a little bit more energy than the DJ before you. But always keep in mind that it's the headliner that's supposed to be the one that really tears the house down. Now, I've done warm up sets where it was obvious that the whole crowd was ready to get the party going. The club was full, so it made no sense for me to keep that energy level low. So I had to turn it up without playing the more famous bangers and hits. And this is where your knowledge of your collection comes into play. Because I was able to take tracks that have that energy, but still I did not mess with tracks that the headliner would play. So it all depends on the knowledge of your own music collection. So those are just a couple of quick tips about playing a warm up set and keep in mind if you're a beginning DJ, I understand that you look up to these DJs that are headlining all these gigs, that's what you want to do. But playing warm up sets is a great way to learn about reading the crowd, learning about the energy of songs and I personally love to play warm up sets every once in a while because I get to play different tracks than when I'm headlining. If you have any tips for warm up DJs, let us know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, make sure you like it and share it. Subscribe to DJ City if you haven't done so already and I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.